Dr. List, we've heard about lenalidomide, but could you tell me more how did this drug work and is there a patient population that this drug works better in? Yes, lenalidomide was approved for the treatment of MDS with chromosome 5Q deletion. Uh, I may have mentioned earlier that that chromosome 5Q deletion is not only a specific subtype within the World Health Organization, but it also is the most common chromosome abnormality that we see. This drug is selectively active in that subtype of MDS, and it works like no other agent that we have. It actually selectively kills those cells that have the chromosome 5Q deletion, and by doing so, allows normal cells to recover. So it's highly effective, three quarters of patients will respond, two thirds of patients will become transfusion free, and it's durable, lasting many years. Can you tell me, will you use lenalidomide in patients that don't have deletion 5Q, and if so, what are their response rates? Yes, lenalidomide has been studied in patients without chromosome 5Q deletion, specifically in lower risk MDS. And in that population of patients, using it as a single agent, overall about 25% of people will respond. When I say respond, I mean they'll become transfusion independent. Unfortunately, the duration of that response is not that long. It's only about 40 weeks. However, we've learned a lot more about how it works in that situation. It'll sensitize the bone marrow to the effects of erythropoietins. So your own endogenous uh, hormones can then work better. So there was a randomized trial that was just completed and, and presented at a national meeting looking at the possible benefit of adding a ESA to lenalidomide versus lenalidomide alone. And the response rate was more than doubled by the combination. And the duration of response lasted a median of around 24 months. So they can be very robust and very durable when used in combination. As of now, though, it is not FDA approved, but it is an off-label utilization of the drug that can be considered. Can you tell me any of the side effects that a patient might expect on lenalidomide, and do you potentially change the dose as you go? That's a very good point. Lenalidomide is fairly well tol tolerated, but I will say specifically in chromosome 5Q deletion, because it suppresses the clone, you'll, early on you'll see neutropenia, a drop in the white count, or thrombocytopenia, a drop in the platelet count, and you'll need to hold the drug and then wait for those counts to recover. After that, we'll reduce the dose and continue with that dosage. Uh, in the absence of any severe drop in blood counts, generally the most common side effects we see are rash, and these are very mild rashes, and they relate to the immune stimulation effect of the drugs. The other is diarrhea, Sometimes that relates to sensitivity to lactose uh, because the drug is actually emulsified in the capsule within in lactose. Uh, beyond that, it's a, it's a fairly well tolerated drug.